Welcome into the film room presented by Microsoft Surface. The Jaguars were very active in free agency and got some players that were very impressive. Let's take a look at wide receiver Gabe Davis of the Buffalo Bills. When I first started looking at him, I said, wow, the guy's averaging about 17 yards of catch over the last two years. He must have great speed. But come to find out, he only ran in the four five fives right when he was coming out of college. How does he have that kind of yards per catch with only four or five speed? Well, we're here to show you in the film room. Let's take a look because here's the first play. At the bottom of your screen, Gabe is gonna be running a route that is trying to attack a two safety look. Now this two safety look doesn't start that way. They're trying to disguise it. So I'll pause it again once they declare the two safety look that Washington has. There's the two safety look. And Gabe is trying to attack this safety right here. He wants this guy to turn and run and think that he is running into the middle. But what Gabe does, he doesn't run to the middle. He gets the safety to turn his hips, and then he breaks it to the outside. This is a brilliant route by Gabe. And it all starts with the sell job that he was gonna run to the middle of the field. And then the safety doesn't have an opportunity to make a play on it. Results in a touchdown. Gabe Davis, another chunk play for a touchdown. Here's Gabe Davis at the bottom of the screen, and here's another perfect example of him getting a chunk play without great speed. This is just a vertical go route. How does he accomplish making a catch? And this one was for 40 yards on this vertical go route. I'm gonna pause it at just the right time because the ball is on its way. And at this point right here, this is where Gabe Davis gets just a subtle push. And I'm gonna slow it down because I want you to see this in slow motion. There it is. That little subtle push happens and gives him just enough separation to beat the defensive back and the ball is delivered perfectly and Gabe Davis 40 yards another chunk play. Now in the first two plays we saw Gabe get big chunks of yardage by using his mind and also his ability his size to create a little separation. Well sometimes plays don't always work as designed and they become something called scramble rules and this play is a perfect example of that. There's Gabe at the bottom of the screen and let's watch what happens because the play is designed for him to run a simple crosser route to be probably at about seven or eight yards. But as I said, the play breaks down. He's covered, he's not open as you can see right here. He's not open, there's two guys in front and one on his back. But this is where the relationship and the chemistry with the quarterback matters. Now on scramble rules, deep guys go short, Short guys go deep, and you can see that Gabe gets deep and ends up getting a perfect ball from his quarterback. And what's impressive to me is that, look at the finish here, how strong he is. Doesn't even get taken down at the end of this play. The next play, we're gonna see where that strength comes into play again. So I talked at the beginning about the size of Gabe Davis, six foot two, 225 pounds. There he is at the top. All he's gonna run on this play is a simple stick route, which where he comes off the ball and stops and he's looking to get the ball right into that area. But the ball doesn't come on time. This is another example of scramble rules. And with scramble rules, defenses with scramble rules try to lock and man coverage with the guy that's in their area. And the linebacker has to cover Gabe down the field because the safety vacates and ends up leaving the deep area of the field and now you have a one-on-one -on -one situation with the linebacker. The ball is thrown perfectly, but look at the power, the finish, to where Gabe carries the linebacker into the end zone for the touchdown. This guy gets big chunks of yards, and he's a big physical presence, and he is gonna be a touchdown maker for this Jaguars football team, in my opinion.